Um, just still wondering, what does it mean to you to score for 10 MLS clubs and to do it the way you did uh, tonight, uh, picking up a huge goal and a huge win for this team? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to be, you know, really, really bad to that. People are going to think I'm lying, but it wasn't really about my goal, you know, really focusing to say, how, you know, I'm scoring for another team. It was really about how we've played the past, you know, uh, three games and not being able to close it out and get a win. So it felt so much, you know, bigger than me scoring that goal um, for the rest of us because, you know, it gives us a lot of belief that what we've been working on, obviously, since I've been here for the past uh, three, four weeks now, um, that is paying off. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Alex Calabrese. Thanks. Hey, Kai, congrats on the goal and on the win. Uh, first Thank of all, you. I just wanted to ask if you could just walk us through uh, the sequence involving that goal. And as a second part to that, how does it feel to be scoring for the fire and not against the fire as we've grown accustomed to over the years? It's a blur. I'm a striker. I don't remember what happened in the, in the goal. I just scored. No, it's, uh, it's some things we've been working on, obviously. And, uh, you know, Guti being on the ball, um, he's, he's, he's growing. He's growing really, really well. Obviously, I've watched him from being outside of this team and obviously being here for a little bit that I have been. And, you know, we're just working together. Um, again, it was a bit hard for us to be up uh, a few goals and then, you know, tying it up. But we knew, I knew actually, we needed just one chance. You know, if we can get one chance, if even it's a through ball and I can just run behind them, um, I was kind of looking for one of those things. So when I saw the ball, you know, got played to the other side and then they kept going in, I, I think I was on the far uh, left side and in my mind it was just run to the back side, you know, and uh, it was a great pass from him. I think it's, you know, it's the same pass he passed to Casper um, the last game where he had a great finish. So today was just my turn. Thank you. Next, we'll go with Joe Chats on Tap Sports. Hey, Kai. Congrats on the sensational finish to the, uh, tonight. I have to ask, you've been here for about a month. You've seen this team go through the ups and downs of these first few matches. Why do you think or what have you seen uh, in training and from kind of an outside perspective now coming in that shows why this team can be so resilient in matches like tonight's? Youth, man, youth, you know. Um, it's the only thing, you know, younger players, you know, when you're around that can do is, is just, you know, absorb so much of information that's being given. And that's really what, you know, the locker room is. You know, there's a lot of youth in the locker room, but they're taking in so much information. And for us now, it's, you know, how do we help the rest of the group to help you know apply that information that, that everybody's given um, but you can see I can see it um, from most of these guys I hope they don't hear this interview um, but I can see so much you know of, of, of heart that they do have and you know everybody wants to prove something and it's great it's really great I don't want to feel like it's gonna take me long to fit into the locker room obviously that's not my character I'm just I'm ready to go right away and ready to just you know put, uh, make my mark with them and just be part of the group Thank you, sir. Thank you. Next, we'll go with Casey Duno. Duno. Hey, um, hey, Kai. Um, Coach Ezra was talking about how you all played together back at Columbus. So I was just wondering. He said that. You know what's? You sh say what? He said that. That was our secret. He's not supposed to tell people that. Uh, he let the cat out of the bag. I'm sorry to say. So. Now I now I gotta wonder, you know, just what's your relationship been like over the years, and how is it playing with him now, uh, or playing for him? Yeah, no, no, great, great. Uh, I think it's not good for me to uh, play for somebody that I played with because you know the guys call me grandpa in the locker room. That's really bad. But um, it's uh, it's something I followed. I followed Ezra for you know over the years. How you know he, he was working over in Seattle and you know back to Columbus. And we've always talked. We've always talked about you know the game and you know what he's gonna do when he does uh, become you know a head coach of a team. And I believed in him um, all these years, so I was really happy. Even last season, I was happy that you know he was uh, the leader of the team here. But I remember when we played against this team, and I said to him that I want to play for you, but it's not happening. So I'm gonna punish you today. And that's what happened last year. But um, when I came here, or since I've been here, we actually haven't had a, a moment to sit down and talk one-on-one -on -one yet because you know I kind of just want to click with the guys in the locker room first before you know I sit down with the coach. But uh, I respect them. 
And it's not about me saying, oh, because we play together, you know, I'm always going to work hard when I deserve a chance to play. He'll play me or he'll tell me what he wants me to do. And I'm going to make sure that I apply it to the fullest. Thank you. Great, thank you. We'll go one more question. Last question, Brian Sandalo. Sure, thanks. E. And uh, you touched on this just uh, briefly during uh, one of your previous answers, but what has been your impression of Brian Gutierrez so far and just what he brings to the team uh, from the midfield? He's too big for his age. He's too tall. I wasn't that tall when I was that age. That's what I think about him. Um, no, it's, uh, it's great to see that uh, he's coming from the ranks. He's coming from the, the 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 academy, and he's a local player. You know, to be at, being at home, you know, that really does help him. Uh, but it's not just him. You know, the, the the group that we do have. You know, I see a lot of the guys coming from the the, the academy up, which shows a, a lot of credit to you know what the club is producing from the the lower levels. But for him, you know, you can see he wants to 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 adapt to everybody, and he wants to make sure that he's competing not by age, but, you know, by his experience and that, you know, he's going to play and compete with the rest of the group. You know, for me, I'm just going to definitely continue to pass on some knowledge that I do have along the way, and hopefully we can all grow together. Thank you. Great. Thank nice. you so much, guys. Thank, thank you, guys. Home. It's nice to meet you guys. And, uh, yeah, let's go!